Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. But but then back to that other shit you were talking about. Talk to him. Shreveport, I want y'all to stop battling with Baton Rouge. Stop it. There's no reason to battle with niggas that y'all can come up with. Stop bat like I don't know what everybody else DJs are doing in, in the state, but I'm trying to bring you niggas together. I live in Baton Rouge, I'm from Shreveport. I'm trying to connect you niggas together as one so the state can blow up. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to connect. Because, see, at the end of the day, Shreveport niggas may have beef with each other, but they don't have a beef with Baton Rouge niggas. Baton Rouge niggas may have beef with each other, but they don't have a room with Shreveport niggas. Now, the only market that I'm trying to tap into is New Orleans. We need to find we need to find out how to tap in with New Orleans, Shreveport, and Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? And take over the whole game. Because if you not notice Drake, Beyonce, Cardi B, all these people got multi-million dollar platinum hits from Louisiana sounds, Louisiana beats, Louisiana. I, I'm a, uh, all the bounce artists from Louisiana. They are taking, making money, and we still out here whining about nobody, nobody will support us. Mm-hmm. All these major artists, the Ratchet, Anthony Mandigo started Ratchet, Shreveport, Louisiana, City Road. He started Ratchet. He got Boosie on the song. Boosie put some sauce on it. But it's all Louisiana. And you got niggas who have made mo- millions off the ratchet word. They don't even know what the fuck it mean. Uh, <laughs> I, I think um, Emmanuel Hudson and his brother, they don't want, I think they trademarked or something they did. They were smart. Yeah. They were smart. Shouts out to Anthony Manigo, free you. I think right now, Anthony Manigo, if you're watching this, I don't know what your plan is, bro. And you know, I was I was riding. I used I used to have I used to have a shirt shop in, in Pure Bowlers Mile, and I used to make T-shirts for Lava House. Mm. Mm-hmm. I was like 20 years old, and I rode rode around in the old school. Anthony Manigo is a real dude, bro. He want to see everybody win. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you I'm, think he can straighten straighten some stuff out in Shreveport? I know he can straighten some stuff out, but I think, and this this is just my personal opinion. I think he should come out striking with you and all the other blog vlogs. Tell his story. Hey, that's my sh-. I'm the Ratchet King. I started. It come from my mama. It come from Cal- You know, from, Cal- from here to California. Like, the old song. Y'all, I don't even know they heard the old, the original Ratchet. Mm. Yeah, it's an original song before the Boosted track. Mm. So at the end of the day, when he tell his story... He should be on all, like, dude, what's the dude, Terrence, even though he ain't really got no story, but he came out and, you know, Terrence, uh, the, the, the Birdman cousin, the brother, whatever. Like weed, yeah. Gangster. Yeah. Gangster. Man, go need to be on every platform, bro. That's what I think. And But I think he can help some of the artists in the city, but we in a newer mind frame, and these young niggas don't give up. Mm-hmm. That's going to be the hardest part. Yeah. You can't tell these niggas nothing. No, not at all. <laughs> not, at, not at all. You know, you can't tell them nothing, bro. And young guy, they ain't scared of nothing. They ain't scared you know, of how we used to be, man, go out, go do this, or something. These niggas. My mama go do this. They ain't scared of shit. But I, I can tell you this. You got female artists, uh, Yellow Hefe, yes. uh, Bray K, yeah. uh, what's the other one named? Jay Jones, uh, Creole Cuts. Shreveport got a lot of talent, but they don't have a lot of hustle. And they don't understand the business either. No. That's why they be angry about everything. Yeah, they be man. angry about everything, man. Like, like the thing about it, bro, I get text messages, man, you need to f*** this dude, you need to f*** this dude. If people ain't talking about you, your s*** got to be forced and pushed. So you may have to pay a couple people. That's just like you. You're not going to interview a rapper who say he hot unless you heard about him. Oh, I went and I vetted him. Right. Oh, you vetted him, right? I'm like... So right. some of these dudes, they, they, they sit around and think you're supposed to f*** with them off their popularity of who they're supposed to be in the city. Mm-hmm. I don't give a f*** about that. And it's, the, it's the entitlement. It's definitely and entitlement. It, and it ruins them, especially with a guy like me. Right. Because, say for instance, so basically you're telling me you're entitled to be on my platform. And that means I'm doing everything for you. You ain't paid me no money. You ain't said nothing. And then you blow up. And then you going to say, hey, my... The first nigga that gave me an interview with some G Plays, you're not gonna say that. They don't wanna pay for nothing. They don't wanna pay for nothing, yeah. man. At the end of the day, man, if you I'm gonna put it like this here, I ain't gonna put niggas business out. But if you see me closely working with an artist, they are def I'm definitely on their payroll. 
And it may, whether large or small, I'm going to make sure I do it all. I'm going to make, I'm going to go to work for them. But I will not, I will not push your dreams for free. That's your dream. It ain't my dream. Mm -hmm. My dream used to be a rapper, but I don't even want to be a rapper. No, I, first of all, I don't want to be a rapper because this is, it ain't like it was, but I stick, I stick in my lane. Mm -hmm. You know, my goal is to uh, help the state, you know, like on some DJ Kelly, DJ Drama, shots out to them, uh, big time DJs that, that really brought artists, you know, do mixtapes. I drop mixtapes. I got a whole bunch of mixtapes on my mixtapes. Mm -hmm. It's number local artists, you know what I'm saying? So whether I get small reviews or big reviews, as long as I get reviews, I ain't tripping. It's all that matters. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't look at, I don't look at, uh, I don't have to have a million people. I don't have to have a million people to tell me I'm doing good. Mm. You can get in my DM right now and say, man, what are you killing this? And that makes me feel good. I don't have to have a million motherfuckers. Somebody told me we was on Clubhouse. Somebody said, nigga, you get 20, 60 likes a picture. Nigga, you ain't nobody. Oh, I'm somebody. Sure. But when I go look at some of y'all, some of y'all favorite DJs got fake followers and likes. All the Chinese people and robots on their on likes. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Mm -hmm. 